We're going to do a real quick tutorial on two pole contactors. The ones that I have in front of me are both 40 amp and both two, two pole. 24 volt coils and I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to open them up. This one here is the uh, Lennox brand replacement, direct replacement. Nicely built. Th this cover is actually new. They just started doing this uh, about a year or two ago on HVAC machines. And this is the one by Carrier's replacement. Nice stuff also. A um, little bit, I like this one a little bit better. But what's underneath here is actually the pull and the throw for the coil, for the 24 volt coil underneath there. And here's your connection points to, for that 24 volt coil. So something like the thermostat would control that, throw it, and then through here, through these two points, the 240 volt electricity can go through, in other, or 220, 240, 208. Um, one, 110 leg here, 110 leg here, connection here, connections broken inside here or connected. Hang on, I'll open it up. Okay, so I've removed the screws and pulls right off. What this is, is your contactor points. This is pulled up and down by a magnet, so if it's pushed down, it'll contact. What we used to see a lot of is ants would get in here. Ants are often attracted to electrical fields, or will just migrate there for heat. So what happens is it pulls down, would smash ants, and you would get no contact or poor contact and would just burn out something. So that's why they've started to put this cover on, which works really nicely. And as you can see, the carrier brand replacement one does the same thing. This one can handle up to 40 amps, and so can that. Um, some of them are made for 30 amps. Use what the manufacturer suggests for your, your unit. Now, of course, you don't have to put that kind of power through these connections, and you can always use a single, double pole as a single pole, and that's not an issue. You could just jump right over. Um, that was our that was our doorbell ringing a few times here. So okay, so now you can hook up um, through here, which is preferable because then you can clamp down really nicely here. Same, same exact thing. These are all probably made. Uh, who knows, out of the same types of factories, no doubt the same types of factories. Let's see. And that's the basics of a, of a contactor. So that's it. And if you ever need to replace one, it really shouldn't scare you because there's really not much to do. Um, you just need a screwdriver. Always turn off the breakers before you even start to work on it. Check it with a uh, multimeter. Uh, no doubt, always check to see if there's electricity. Pull your disconnects on your machines and uh, work safely. Be smart. You're, you should not have an issue. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, send us an email at EnviroNC on uh, YouTube and uh, we'll try to answer them. Thanks.